C, what you do is you take the A times C, okay, and you say what two numbers multiply to whatever A times C is, right? But those same two numbers, same two quantities have to add to this middle coefficient B. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you an example. So here we're gonna take the A value 10 times the C value negative 12. So we say to ourselves, hmm, what two numbers multiply to 10 times negative 12, which is negative 120, but those same two numbers have to add to the middle coefficient of negative seven. So that's the riddle we have to solve, and this is oftentimes the most difficult part of this problem, but once you figure out these numbers, it's easy and systematic from there. So when I look at this, I say to myself, hmm, they have to multiply to negative 120, but add to negative seven. So what do you think? What two numbers will do that for us? Well, sometimes when you have larger numbers like this, what I do, I'll show you my technique, is I'll take 120, and I'll break it down into its prime factors. So I'm just breaking this down, okay, using a, a factor tree, okay, and so we've got like this. So now, these are the numbers right here. If we multiply all these together, that's gonna give us 120, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two groups so that, you know, they're gonna multiply to give us 120, then I'm gonna check to see if they add up to negative seven. So let's see, so how would that work? Well, check this out. See how two times two times two, that's eight, and over here, we have three times five, that's 15. Now, because it's negative 120, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a negative 15 and a positive eight. So that's it, we figured it out. So negative 15 times eight is negative 120, but negative 15 plus eight equals negative seven. So what do we do with those two numbers? Well, we split this middle term. So I'm gonna write this, instead of as negative seven x, I'm gonna write it as negative 15 x plus a positive eight x. That still adds up to negative seven x, so I haven't changed the value of this middle term, I've just broken it up into two pieces. Now what we have is we have one, two, three, four terms, four groups, and what we can do is what's called factoring by grouping. So what that means is I group, or put parentheses around the first two terms, and then the last two terms, and those are just added together. Then what you do is you factor out the greatest common factor out of this group, and the greatest common factor out of the second group. Here it looks like we can factor out a five x, so that's gonna leave us with two x minus three, and here we can factor out a positive four, so that's gonna leave us with two x minus three. Now that's very interesting because see how we have that same group, two x minus three? So out of this whole group, in this whole group, they have a two x minus three in common. So if we factor that out as a greatest common factor, we get two x minus three, and we're left with five x plus 